This is question number seven in the ACT math practice exam I'm working through and you can see here that this is going to be a story problem of course and it's going to deal with mostly arithmetic and well entirely arithmetic and this is a classic story problem that would appear in the first ten questions of an ACT math exam and we're going to see another one come up before uh, the end of the first ten questions but after that, we're going to get into a little bit more of the pre-algebra, algebra 1 concepts, and geometry concepts that tend to come up after question 10. So let's take a look here at this one, though, right now. So I'll read it. Harple purchased a pair of whoopee cushions, originally priced at $14 each. The joke shop offered a 25% discount, and Harple paid a 7% sales tax on the discounted whoopee cushions. How much, including tax, did Harple pay for both whoopee cushions? All right, so the first thing that might notice is that there are two whoopee cushions there's a pair so the first step is just to take 14 times 2 which is 28 right and then the joke shop offered a 25 percent discount and Harpo paid 7 percent sales tax on top of that well let's start with a 25 percent discount so if we have 28 dollars and that's what we've got here is 28 dollars how can we take 25% off of that? Well, 25% itself is not a very useful number to be using in a math problem, right? So you have to change this to a decimal in order to use it. So if you think about what 25% is, well, 25% is, you know, 25, you could say it's 25.0%, right? 25.0%. And so in order to make a percent into a decimal that you can actually use in an equation, you move the decimal point to the left two spaces. So this becomes 0.25, right? So if we use that right away in our equation, that's 28 times 0.25, right? And that equals, let's see what that is. We'll just take the calculator and multiply that out times 0.25, and that equals, oops, did I do that right? 28 times 0.25 and that equals 7, right? So that's an easy number to work with and that's 7. All right, and then all we do is just take 28 minus 7, right? Because it is 25% off, so 28 minus 7 is $21, all right? So this is, you know, this is step 1 and I'm going to call this step 2a because there's another way that you can do this and that's by taking instead of taking 28 times 0.25 or times 25 percent you can take 28 times 28 times the percentage you're actually going to pay well the percentage you're actually going to pay is 100 percent minus 25 percent which is 75 percent and as a decimal that is 0.75. So if you take 28 times 0.75, I'll just tell you it's 21. So I'm going to call this 2b. And th this is just another way to do it. So notice that we skipped an entire step by multiplying it by 0.75 instead of multiplying it first by 0.25 and then subtracting that answer from the original price. We save time. All right. So now we've got 21. So what do we do with 20, the $21 that we've got there? Well, they say that Harple paid 7% sales tax on the discounted whoopee cushions. And so they want to know how much, including the tax, did Harple pay for both whoopee cushions. So you've got to include the tax in order to get the correct answer. All right, so 21 times, we could do 21 times 0 0.07. I'm going to call this step 3a all right 21 point uh, uh, sorry 21 times 0 0.07 and that's because seven percent if you take seven percent well that's seven point zero percent and you move the decimal over two places you've got to add a zero here in order to move it over and you get 0 0.07 so then you use 0 0.07 in your equation and let's see what that is so 21 clear that out 21 times 0 0.07 equals one dollar and forty seven cents one dollar and forty seven cents so then you could add that right because he is paying sales tax on top of the twenty one dollars 
So if we take 21 plus 1.47, that is $22.47, right? Okay, but there is a way, you notice I said 3a, there is a quicker way to do it, and that's by taking 21 times 1.07, okay? And that equals the same thing, that's 22 I'll just show you here real quick. So just to show you it really is true, uh, 21 times times 0 0.107 equals 22.47. And you probably noticed, by the way, that we're looking at answer E here. This is the correct answer. So how can you get there in uh, one step instead of two? You can simply multiply by 1.07. Why does that work? Well, because it's 21 plus 7 percent, if you take 21 times itself, which is, or I'm sorry, not <laughs> times itself, but 21 times 1, then you have 21, and then you add a little bit more, you add that 0 0.07 to that 1, and you get 21 times 100 percent of itself plus 7 percent of itself, right? And you get $22.47, and that is answer E.